All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just finished solving for any for the intercepts when we have an A term. And the problem is we ended up doing completing the square with this. And as we saw in class, how this results in a radical underneath the denominator because it doesn't always work out as nice and neat as we would hope. So what we're going to do next is we are going to look at how we develop the quadratic formula, how we develop the quadratic formula based on standard form. Now, I know many of you already know the quadratic formula as x equals the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. I know that you know that, you've already seen it, or we can kind of split it up a little bit and say x equals the opposite of b over 2a plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Both of those are correct. The one with everything, kind of pretty much what we're, we're used to seeing based on our example in the last class, we were looking at this being our axis of symmetry or our h term and the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, that's going to be r, our d distance from the axis of symmetry. So we're going to do completing the square on standard form to get it into, which is, I'm sorry, we're going to do completing the square to solve for x. We're going to do completing the square to solve for x. So we start by setting this expression equal to 0, ax squared plus bx plus c. Now, let's get it set up to look like complete the square. 0 equals ax squared plus bx plus the space plus c minus the space. All right, so we're, we're good to go there, but move. I want a to be one, so we're going to go ahead and factor an a out of this. Okay, so zero equals a on the outside, x squared plus, now let's see, that was b and we factored an a out, so really that's b divided by a, so this is b divided by ax plus the space plus c minus that a times the space. All right, now next step. This is where we put our b over 2 squared. Oops, sorry about that. That's supposed to be a different color. Here we go guys, let's do this in purple. b over 2 squared. In this case, b over a. So my b term in this case is b over a. I know that gets a little confusing. So b over a over 2, and that's all squared. Now, don't let that complex fraction scare you, okay? If I take and write this out side by side, this is really b over a divided by 2 over 1, and that whole quantity is squared. Because remember, that fraction bar says divide by. All right, now we do a little keep change flip b over a times 1 over 2 squared. So let me go and multiply that back together before I square it because I am going to need that term, you remember? b over 2a squared. b over 2a squared. And when we solve this, this becomes b squared over 2a squared, and we know that 2a squared, 2 squared, a squared, so this becomes b squared over 4a squared. And this is what gets substituted back in. So let me go ahead and do that for you. Let's make this A 
eight times x squared plus b a x plus b squared over four a squared plus c minus, now remember we were gonna multiply by a, and then here's where we put b squared over four a squared. All right, we'll handle, we'll handle all this as our, as our new k term. But we'll handle that here in just a second. All right, so we've got r completing the square setup. Now, come with me on a little bit of a trip into thought bubble land as we deal with this, this k term. So this is c minus a times b squared over 4a squared. All right, now before I can add or subtract, let me take care of this multiplication. So there's kind of that imaginary one over the a. So we multiply straight across the top. So this is c minus ab squared over 4a squared. Now, in order to be able to add or subtract, we have to have common denominators. So what I'm gonna do is multiply by whatever it's gonna to take to get a denominator of 4a squared. All right, so this is by one over one, this is 4a squared over 4a squared, because I need to have the same common denominator. So this becomes 4a squared c minus ab squared all over 4a squared. Hmm. No real like terms in there anywhere that we can combine. But what I do see, I see an A and an A, common factors there. And I also see a couple of extra A's here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna factor that out. Factor out an A, so this becomes 4AC minus B squared all over a times 4a. And the reason I'm doing that is so that I can cancel out the a's here. All right, I can't factor a four out of the ab squared and cancel the fours out as well. I'm, I'm stuck with the fours. So this says 4ac minus b squared all over 4a. And that, that's gonna be my k term in my completing the square. And let's see, we were adding that. So now let's go back here, x squared plus b over ax plus b squared over 4a squared. There's an a on the outside, that's still all equals zero. All right, now we know that we need to factor this expression. So this is x plus something and x plus something. Remember I said I was gonna need that term later on? And it's this right here, b over 2a. b over 2a, and in here, b over 2a. So we substitute that back in, and then zero equals a times a quantity x plus b over 2a squared plus 4 AC minus B squared all over 4A. All right, now we're solving for X. Oh, by the way, that's vertex form. So we've got vertex form of, of the standard AX squared plus BX plus C. So now that's written in vertex form. So now, now let's solve for X. To solve for x, we need to isolate this, so we're going to subtract 4ac minus b squared over 4a minus 4ac minus b squared all over 4a. All right, so I put the minus on the outside of the parentheses there because, well, we know these cancel, but when we subtract, what happens is the signs actually change, right? 
keep change change. So on the left hand side of this expression, this is going to be negative 4ac plus b squared over 4a. Or we could spin it around and make this b squared minus 4ac all over 4a. All right, that's starting to look familiar, isn't it? And that equals a times x plus b over 2a squared. Is that good so far? Now, our next step is going to be to divide both sides by a. Or, I like to say multiply by the reciprocal. So we want to, this was a over one, so I'm gonna multiply both sides by one over a. One over a. Well, let's see, this says, those guys cancel. Straight across the top is b squared minus four. AC all over 4a squared equals x plus b over 2a. That's all squared. Okay. So far, so good. Now, now we need to get rid of the square. So I'm going to take the square root of both sides. Take the square root of both sides. So this says plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 4a squared. We can simplify that a little bit because we know that this is b squared minus 4ac all over the square root of 4a squared. 4 is a perfect square, a squared is a perfect square. Oh, forgot the plus or minus, sorry about that guys. Here we go, so plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over now 2a. Starting to look familiar, isn't it? Now it starts to look like that piece of the quadratic formula. Equals x plus b over 2a. All I did was bring that down from here. Now, I want to get x by itself, so I'm going to subtract. Just subtract b over 2a minus b over 2a. says x equals the opposite of b over 2a plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And now because I have common denominators, I can combine all of that and we say that x equals the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And that's going to be our quadratic formula. That's x isolated. I will tell you right now, this is not tested. I am not going to give you a test and say, here's standard form, write it in, solve for x. That's not going to be a test question. All right? The purpose of all of this is to show you how and where we came up with the standard, or how and where we came up with the quadratic formula. All right? I expect you to be able to use the quadratic formula, not write everything out to show me where it came from. All right, this is for your information to help you as you work through this lesson. Hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys on the next one.